Why are you so handsome? I was a C-section. <laughs> Thank goodness the first part of Sandra Bullock and Brad Pitt's trade-off, the Sandy led the Lost City, worked out well. Who are you? My shaman calls me Maluka Salabian. <laughs> because after not appearing on screen together for the first 30 years of their career, Brad and Sandy had to do it twice, back to back. What's happening to your face? Maybe there was a little head trauma? Maybe. The Brad-led bullet train hit theaters this past weekend, and even though Bullock's bullet roll hmm, was an extended cameo just like Brad's was in The Lost City, Sandra took the time to get it right. I did a lot of this. I, I talked really low and calm. Deer Creek International Business Solutions, how can I help you? I was like, if I'm going to be in his head, I need to be really calm. Yeah. So I gave him the calm, sexy voice. Yeah. Well, that's great, Ladybug. Ladybug. A new operational name. The authoritative, calm, right. sexy voice. Like, you I'm know, not, the I'm one that's like, I'm not <laughs> with you. I'm not <laughs> with you. That's the kind of dedication that gets butts in movie theater seats. <laughs> Bullet Train had a big opening this past weekend with $30 million, just a few hundred thousand short of what The Lost City made in its debut in March. We'll see if Brad can match Sanders $190 million total at the end of Bullet Train's theatrical run. When this film came out, came up, she had her film. It just was just like, it was such a nice thing that we could cross pollinate each other's films. And Brad told E! News on the Bullet Train red carpet that the two Oscar winners and Hollywood legends might be onto something here. Now, contraction, I'm going to do only Sandy Bullock films from here on out. No, you're not. Yeah. Are you serious about that? Yeah. No. You heard it here. So while 2022 marked the beginning of a beautiful friendship on screen, Brad and Sandra have been hanging out for years. When you, you first met him, what was your first... About 25 years ago? Yeah. In an Irish pub? Yes. I said, move over, I need to climb out of the booth. That sounds like something that would happen when you meet Sandra Bullock for the first time. <laughs> so we're actually talking 25 years ago. That's 1997, so early in their career, but Sandy had already racked up some of her big hits. Speed, While You Were Sleeping, The Net, A Time to Kill. While Brad had already wowed audiences in Thelma and Louise, A River Runs Through It, Interview with the Vampire, Seven, and he'd already gotten his first Oscar nomination for 12 Monkeys. So even back then, it was still two Hollywood heavyweights coming face to face in an Irish bar booth. We were all smashed in there. That was the first time, and he was very kind. Like, he actually got out. Like, he could have said, climb over me. I was here first, but he didn't. Well, I guess over the years, Sandra has aimed to pay back that initial kindness that Brad showed her. Sandra's been a great friend for years really? and years and years, and she's always, like, I mean, she's, like, bailed me out whenever I call. She will drop anything to come to, to my aid. At the London premiere of Bullet Train, Brad gave an example to Hello Magazine of some of the aid he has sought from Sandra. Like... It, stop your holiday, put on a gown, and come host this a thousand person event for me. Like tomorrow. And she'll do it. She's amazing. She is amazing. And so are you, Brad. So it's no surprise that the Bullock Brad team ups produced two hit movies. So do you want to see more of the duo on the big screen together? 